EC Matt Rartner was the father of one who'd served with the Metropolitan Police for 30 years, a custody sergeant originally from New Zealand. Welcome to East Grinstead Rugby Football Club. I'm Matt Ratner, head coach. He was also an avid rugby fan who coached players at East Grinstead Rugby Club in West Sussex. He was close to retiring with the police when he was killed in the line of duty in the early hours of this morning. Tonight, the force's boss described him as a much-loved colleague. His colleagues knew him as a big guy, big in stature, big in heart, friendly, capable, a lovely man, highly respected by his colleagues, officers, staff, and of course, by members of the public, including, I may say, suspects he arrested or dealt with in custody. All day, forensic officers have been carrying out a detailed examination of the custody centre in South London where he was killed. The white police tape just visible here at the entrance to the facility where the shooting happened. A man already in custody was being given a COVID test when he pulled a gun, shooting the officer five times before turning the weapon on himself. He remains in a critical condition in hospital. The police watchdog, the Independent Office for Police Conduct, say the man had been arrested for possession of Class B drugs and ammunition and that he was handcuffed with his hands behind his back, brought to this centre in Croydon and escorted into the building. The shots were fired, they say, as officers prepared to search him with a metal detector. They say he was still handcuffed at the time. This afternoon, the Home Secretary and London's Mayor joined the Metropolitan Police Commissioner for a minute's silence in memory of PC Ratana. This is a sad day for our country as once again we see the tragic killing of a police officer in the line of duty as they are trying to protect us and keep us safe. Above the force's headquarters, the flag is flying at half-mast. Outside the centre in Croydon, a steady stream of colleagues have been coming to lay flowers and mourn one of their own. Sarge was um, the nicest man I've ever met. He's He's just a genuine guy, very nice, lovely guy. This incident is extremely rare in the UK and is raising questions about how a gun was smuggled into the precincts of a police facility and used to kill a much-respected police officer. Sajal Karia, News at 10, South London.